Jersey Shore standout Ronnie Ortiz Magro first popped up on our TV screens back in 2009 as one of seven strangers that moved into the beach house in Seaside Heights, New Jersey. After eventually leaving that beach house behind, Ronnie would meet his future girlfriend Jen Harley in the early stages of 2017. By October of that year, things were serious enough that Ronnie and Jen decided to play house and move in with one another. They purchased a stunning nearly $1 million modern home in Las Vegas, Nevada, and today we're gonna take a look at his homes. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Ronnie Magro is best known for being one of the main cast members on the MTV reality series Jersey Shore, and he's no doubt made some bang from that franchise. He currently has a net worth of about $4 million, some of which he used to snag that Vegas mansion back in 2017 with his ex. While the purchase was a success, Ronnie and Jen definitely weren't right for each other, and it would take many drama-fueled moments in that same Vegas abode for these two to realize the mistake they'd made. Nearly two years later, there hasn't been a single buyer. Hey everyone, I'm Care the Vampire Slayer, bringing you another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out where Jersey Shore star Ronnie Magro calls home. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Back in October of 2017, things were going great for Ronnie. He had just wrapped up his run on the second season of Famously Single, and after all was said and done, found what he believed was the love of his life in Jen Harley. Full of happiness, positivity, and those trademark Jersey Shore hormones, Ronnie plunked down around 725 k in cash to buy the both of them a home in a gated Las Vegas community in Summerlin, Nevada. Before we move on to all the drama that would eventually unfold within the walls of this very place, let's take a moment to check out how gorgeous it is. With nearly 3,000 square feet of living space, four bedrooms and four bathrooms, this home has an extremely solid foundation to build upon. And that's exactly what Ronnie and Jen did once they moved in. They furnished and decorated it with some pretty remarkable taste. For instance, the inside of the home is largely decorated with white furniture that's offset by only a few pops of color. The largely gray pattern of the interior helps cultivate a modern and industrial feel. On the main floor, the living room has not only a gorgeous wooden coffee table, but it also has a built-in fireplace and sliding doors that allow for quick access to the backyard. That room leads into the kitchen, which features a marble island, as well as countertops alongside a white brick backsplash. The kitchen also opens up to a small dining room, which might have the most color in all of the house, thanks to its blue accent chairs. Meanwhile, upstairs is a second living room situated at the very top of a marvelous wooden staircase. Not far from here is a door that leads out to a terrace that provides full panoramic views of the nearby strip, city, and mountains. A few feet away, the guest bedrooms are all decorated in a tasteful manner, and their daughter Ariana has her room all decked out in a peach and light brown motif that's no doubt comforting for a small child. Finally, the master bedroom has everything you'd expect, including an ensuite bathroom that offers both a full shower and bathtub, as well as plenty of counter space. Outside, the exterior of the home looks picture perfect, and while there might not be a whole lot of green, this is Nevada after all. It's a pretty parcel of land that certainly looks picturesque from an aerial point of view. Plus, it's got a handy covered porch as well as a jacuzzi spa for all your recreational purchases on those starry Nevada nights. One thing though, I feel like I would need a pool way more than a hot tub in Vegas. I mean, it's already hot. But as peaceful and serene as Ronnie and Jen have made the home look from the outside, what's gone on inside has been anything but. Over the course of the three years they spent together in this place, their relationship imploded. And a lot of it would unfortunately unfold right here. The first real sign that something was wrong with their home life was when Jen was arrested in June 2018 for domestic battery. Despite this attack, by the following month, the two were back together, and Ronnie, well, he wasn't pressing any charges. Then, in the fall of that year, they had a series of breakups, many of which involved Ronnie claiming he was the victim of abuse in their family home. 
We don't exactly have video proof of any of that, but we do have evidence of footage from their home's doorbell ring camera that shows Ronnie arriving home drunk as a skunk and being refused entrance by Jen. So what does Ronnie do? He breaks the camera, of course. This incident, along with everything else going on in their complicated relationship, must have ticked Ronnie off plenty, because in September 2018, he posted a collage of photos of his family home to Instagram with the caption saying, brand new house for sale. And he even tagged his realtor in the post as well. But the thing is, his realtor had no idea that Ronnie was looking to sell. And when he eventually was asked by People Magazine as to what was going on, the realtor's response was, Ronnie being Ronnie, he's a little bit premature, right? I've been friends with him for 10 years, but we talked a couple of days ago and everything was all good. Then him and Jen got into another fight. In other words, Ronnie's realtor just thought that his buddy was acting out and it turns out he was right because at that time the house was never officially listed. Put your fucking hands on me again. I dare you. I dare you. After yet another short-lived breakup at the start of 2019, by the summer that same year, the pair were back to living together yet again. Then Ronnie went on something of a cheating spree and the two were over. This eventually led to big time altercation that took place in Los Angeles, where the cops showed up to break up yet another fight. This time, Ronnie had to be tasered before the incident would come to a resolution. There's a male of the name of Ronnie Ortiz, the cast member of the Jersey Shore. 1543 is attempting to make contact with the suspect, refusing to comply. 1543, are you in? As a direct result of the altercation, Ronnie was ordered to stay 100 yards away from Jen and his daughter. As all this worked itself out through the court systems, Ronnie claims that in the early stages of 2020, he was asleep at his home in Nevada when Jen broke in and attacked him with eyeliner. With his relationship in shambles and his home life seemingly violated, Ronnie decided to put the home he formerly shared with Jen on the market, but for real this time. He created an official listing and was asking for $869,000, about $100,000 more than what he originally paid for it. The only problem? Well, after nearly two years of being on the market, no one seems willing to buy it yet. Is that because there's just too much bad energy associated with this place? I mean, who really wants to live in a home that's been in the news so often, largely due to violent abuse altercations between its former tenants? No one, that's who. Will Ronnie ever manage to sell the place and will he ever work out his relationship with the mother of his child? For Ariana's sake, if for no one else's, I sure hope so. Well, I think that just about concludes our Ronnie Magro house tour. This time, I don't think I've left anything out. What did you think about his Vegas abode? I mean, minus all that bad luck that went down in there. Which features were your favorite? I don't know if I would want to buy that spot, but I do love Las Vegas. I think all I would need to do is switch out that hot tub for a pool and give the place a good old energy cleanse. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Ronnie's homes down in the comments. And if you like this one, check out recent drops on his co-stars homes like Polly D and Vinny, which we'll link to. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.